It is Manchester United 1, Luton Town 0. Manchester United collecting three points against Luton after Victor Lundelof strike in the second half. And it's the only goal that we scored. And you would think, a team like Luton, a, a team that's got a stadium made out of a house as well. Part of the stadium is made out of a house. I'm not lying to you guys. Part of the stadium is made out of a house, a residential home. Yeah, we couldn't even destroy them. We, we couldn't score much goals against them. And what a frustrating game against it, a game it was against Luton. It was shit and boring at the same time, guys. Oh, frustrating to be a Manchester United fan. When you play against these teams, you're supposed to take them to, into curtains. Luton thought they can come to Old Trafford and live up to other names and try and loot against us. But we told Luton, you better loot on, man. Loot on down there because there's no way you're going to be looting here. We are the one that's going to be looting towards you, Luton. But Manchester United, man, oh, it's the way Ten Hag sets the team up. I just don't know. I'm really worried. First off, I thought Manchester United was very poor in the first half. Bang average at times. Very boring, you know. Not doing enough as well to create opportunities, to create chances. I saw Andre Onana more times in that first half against Luton. In the second half, that's where Manchester United tried to do something. And thank God the goal came in because I was sick and tired of what I was seeing. I was sleeping at times. I was yawning like all of you guys were because it was a absolutely abysmal second half, abysmal game. You know, Manchester United didn't do enough. They're playing their patient build-up, but they just didn't do enough. And it just was, didn't look convincing. Just second-rated at everything, you know. Just, they suck. But that goal came in, Victor Lindelof with Marcus Rashford taking a shot inside a crowded box and, and, a, and a deflection coming in the way of Victor Lindelof to smash that goal right in the net, making it 1-0 for Manchester United. And from there, we was like, thank God almighty, free at last, we got a goal. Oh, oh. Because we thought we was going to just draw that game and drop points. We definitely thought that. Because we wasn't doing anything going forward. Manchester United are worrying me right now. I'm I'm worried. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Houston, we have a problem. And guess what? It's the system. The problem is the system. The setup. And the players. They're just not good enough. Making the wrong decisions. Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes are, are also a problem in that side. Whether you like it or not, I'm spitting the truth. They just can't do it. Players like Dalo, for example... Mm -mm. Although Lind Victor Lindelof and Harry Maguire had a good game, but you just just know it. They just don't. They're just not supposed to be starting. They're not meant to be here. They're meant to be gone. And Ganacho as well. You saw it as well. In ninety minutes, he produced nothing. And Hoyland goes another game without scoring goals. Full time, Manchester United win one 0 Happy for the points. Performance was abysmal. But I'm so worried. I just don't know if we, I can take this any longer. And the way we are playing, it's a concern. It's a worry. The performances from the players, it's a worry. It's a concern. I just don't think they're good enough. And I don't think they will ever be good enough. You know, we need to make drastic changes come January. Can the boys do it? Let's pray. It's hope and pray, hope and pray, because we don't know what's going to happen. Hope and pray. If we're going to get new owners... I'm not too sure, but we need to hope and pray. Guys, big up to everyone that's tuning today as well. Manchester United fans, Manchester United holics, pray. Hope and pray, like I said before, because this can get worse. It can get worse. I don't see it improving. The performance, everything, the, the, the lack of threat going forward, the midfield, the lack of creativity, the, and this goal difference. It is alarming and scary. We go into an international break. We best hope that things get fixed, you know. We best just hope that Surgeon Ratcliffe it doesn't come after the international break. Because I know Manchester United, they're slow at everything. Slow at announcing things. It will probably be after the international break, close to the January transfer window. And you can't even make those changes. Anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on today's game. It's just been your match reaction. Let me know who your man the match is because I can't think of one. Let me know who your donkey the match is because there's a lot of them. And of course, let me know what your thoughts on the, on the match in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe to Reggie United TV, share across all social media platforms. 
you know, who was tuning in for, for Monday and Thursday, keep an eye out. We might go live, might spot some videos out because you're in the international break. It is what it is, man. But guys, as always, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. Peace, baby.